it's the end of the month already and I can't believe we're over October. I mean, it's just going by so fast and at the same time, not really because of college. But yeah, we're almost already in 2016 and that's crazy. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about my favorite of the month of October today. And amazingly, there's not one skincare product in here. And I just really don't know how this happened, but there isn't. So let's crack on. So my favorite two products of the month are actually a duo. Um, and I love Elisa perfumes. Actually, the Eau de Toilette is my favorite perfume for winter ever. But this one is also really yummy. It's sweeter, but it has that, you know, Ellie Sap touch uh, that's very delicate and elegant, and I love it. Um, and this one came with a free body lotion, shimmering body lotion. And I love the scent of this. It's just... I usually categorize perfumes either for winter or summer, but this one I really could use all year long because it has a bit of both. It's the Elisab Locator, now that I've realized I hadn't said its name, but I do love this scent, so if you can, give them a sniff when you're at the beauty store because they're amazing. And now I'm mostly going to talk about makeup, and I'm talking about two Clarins products that I've used in my... 10 tips for a healthy skin video and a lot of people complimented me on my makeup so I thought I'd show you. I've been using them a lot and I love them. One of them is the Ombre Matte Green to Powder Matte Eyeshadow in the shade 8 Heather and it's really cute. It's kind of like a taupey purpley smoke shade. It's grayish but has brown and purple undertones and it blends like a dream. Uh, it's very long lasting and I had tried these before and love them so I don't know I'm really digging this and I've used this on the top of a Kiko cream eyeshadow that I'm going to talk about next in the video so check it out and see if you like it because I really love this. And on my lips I was wearing this lip liner which is in the shade 3 Nude Rose and I'm just so taken a back by it because I didn't think I would like it. It's very nude, like a darky nude that I didn't think was gonna suit me, but it's very, very beautiful. And I actually applied another Claha lipstick on top, but this, the base, is really, you know, the star of the look, so give it a try. And now I've got two Kiko cream eyeshadows that I'm gonna talk about, and one of them is the 4 one, which I used as a base to the Claha one. And it's kind of like a lighter version of the Clarins, but it's very, very nudey and it's just a nude top shade that I absolutely adore and it lasts pretty long as well. And the second one I'm going to talk about is the shade 3, which I've actually also used in the autumn tutorial, so you can go check that out. It's a reddish brown that applies even more red than it looks. It's beautiful and it creates a beautiful base for your reddish autumny looks. The last beauty product I'm going to talk about is a Kiko one as well. Is the Kiko lipstick uh, and I love their packaging. It's so lush uh, and this one is the 524. It's a very exclusive shade that you can't get in all the stores but you can get online and they actually tell you which stores carry them. It's kind of a grayish top shade and you can tell I'm really into the top shades but this for lips is just so amazing. I love gray lipsticks and in fair complexions they're like they really shine and I really love them and this one is a very affordable one that you don't usually get in this types of store. You get more like commercial shades but they have this one and I love it and I recommend it to everyone. It actually has had fair skin types but a friend of mine also has it and she has like, she's kind of tan and she looks amazing with it as well. So give it a shot and it's really, you know, affordable so you can really give it a go without the regret of wasting money on a shade you'll never wear. But, you know, I'm into the grey lipsticks and I recommend it to everyone because they look amazing. And the two other products I'm going to talk about are actually not beauty related. And the first one is the Lipton Green Tea Lemon Macaroon. I love this. I don't usually like green tea, but it keeps me awake because I don't like coffee. And it gives me that bit of brightness in the morning and when I'm really, really down or sleepy. And the Lemon Macaroon 
like taste really takes over the green tea so if you don't like green tea but you kind of need it in your life this is really good and if you love like sweet taste in tea and macarons just give it a go because it's really good and lastly I'm gonna talk about a TV series because you know that I love it it's a Netflix series uh, that I've actually started watching in season one and it's gone to its final season which is three and I love it. I'm talking about Hemlock Grove. And I'm not going to go into detail about what it is because I don't think you really should know. Don't like search it or anything. Just go into it without knowing anything because it will fully blow your mind. Um, I really love that series and I love the actors and I love the plot. I love everything about it. So kind of near the end now. So I'm kind of not watching the episodes because I don't want it to end. But it's still worth watching. So if you have some free time, give it a go. And that's it for this month. I'll definitely be back next month. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And definitely tell me down below if you have tried any of my favorites and what you think about them. And you know, let me know what your favorites are as well because I'm always searching for new things. If they are TV series, if they are teas, or if they are makeup. So just tell me down below everything that's up with you. <laughs> I guess. So bye.